G'day guys. It is good to be back. Let me tell you, I've had a shocker of a year and I know excuses, excuses, but it's all in the past now. Um, so I'm ready to put it all behind me and, uh, get cracking on making some new videos. Sorry to have left you in the lurch for so long, uh, but let's get the show back on the road. So, uh, in today's video, I want to talk about a pet peeve of mine. It's something that's been on my mind for a while, and hopefully by sharing this, I can help out some of my fellow DOS game enthusiasts just a little bit to make their videos a bit more cool. Let's get started. There are heaps of people uh, reviewing and playing old DOS games on YouTube, and it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. I love it. I love seeing it. I love watching it. It's awesome. But there's just one small thing that I see time and time again, and that mistake is using official DOSBox for PC speaker sound. And I want to preface all of this by saying that I love DOSBox. I think it's great. And I think the people that write it are doing a really great job. We're all familiar with the uh, primitive yet characteristic sound of the PC speaker from uh, ear piercing beeps and boops. to baby's bum smooth digital playback. And for the most part, DOSBox does a reasonable job of reproducing those sounds somewhat faithfully. Um, you're listening to it right now, and it doesn't sound too bad. But there are a number of games out there that just sound really terrible on DOSBox. A lot of those are from id and Apogee, uh, games like Commander Keen and Duke Nukem. Um, they sound pretty bad in DOSBox, they sound very much different to what they sound like on actual hardware. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple of side-by-side -side comparisons now so you can uh, see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm no software developer, uh, and I certainly don't claim to know about sound engineering or the intricacies of how PC speaker sounds are sort of orchestrated and generated, but there is a clear difference here between the emulator and the real thing. The real thing has this sort of buzzing, sort of robotic quality about it uh, that's particularly noticeable in, in Commander Keen and Duke Nukem, and that's just gone. It's completely absent in DOSBox. Uh, so, what can be done about this? Uh, has the problem been solved? Well, yes and no, partially. Um, there are a handful of posters on the Vogons forums, namely RIPA, R-I-P-A, NY00123 and RIPSAW8080. Uh, they made some progress towards um, a, a patch for DOSBox SVN to enhance the accuracy of DOSBox's PC speaker emulation. These changes haven't yet found their way through into official DOSBox SVN yet for inclusion in DOSBox 0.75 uh, whenever that comes around. But there are a number of unofficial builds out there from various people, like YK Huang, who has the DOSBox SVN Dorm Edition. I'm probably saying all of those completely wrong, so apologies. I want to talk about Dorm for a second. Uh, that build has really cool features in it as well, like uh, like 3D effects voodoo emulation, uh, support for shaders um, for your output, so you can make your the window look like it's a CRT monitor and really cool stuff like that. Uh, and also baked in MUNT support for MT32 emulation, which is really cool. You don't need any external software for it. But most importantly and most relevant to this is that the author has included the most recent PC speaker enhancements from Ripper from the Vogons forums. And um, the result is actually quite nice sounding. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll play you some samples of that now. Uh, 
Now, if you ask me, that sounds pretty great. Unfortunately, it's not a cure-all in fixing these games. Some other games are broken. I think there was a regression regarding uh, Digger and Monkey Island 1. Who knew? Uh, so, really, the only answer is to have a couple of different versions of DOSBox available and use the right one for the game that you want to play. And uh, that about wraps it up. Um, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for your patience over the last many months. I, I really appreciate it. And it's good to see that uh, so many of you have stuck around. Totally awesome. Thank you so much for that. And uh, I hope you found this video to be um, interesting and informative. And I hope it helps you at some point in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.